Okay, here we go. 2014 Striper 21 foot center console. Just pulling it out of shrink wrap. Comes in uh, various colors of the hull. You can get all white. This particular one is in a gray. Nice looking contrast with the um, pure white hull. Particular one is equipped with a T-top. Got some uh, life jacket storage. Okay, we can take the features of the 2014 Striper from bow to stern. Got an integrated bow pulpit with an anchor roller. Got a tie-off cleat. There is a uh, actually anchor house pipe, and then your anchor locker is right below. Bow area has uh, fish boxes with the overboard drain also can be used for static dry storage integrated cup holders on the port and starboard side also the top of the hatch has a diamond pattern non-skid which you normally see on the more expensive uh, boats this has a low profile rail there's also an option for a high bow rail. Yeah, in front of the console on the 2105 striper there's a ice chest that comes here it also has a back pad so someone can write up here again additional cup holders on the port and starboard side this is also a nice feature got a little padded uh, thing to go around this tubing in case you hit a big wave and we're tall and bumped your head against that it's a good idea the console there is a door opens up and there is a pump out porta potty in there. That's the ice chest that goes in the front for the forward seating. And this is a very tall console. It does have a step down area, so uh, it'll accommodate uh, the tallest of uh, anglers. Cleat. Forward cleat. There is an anchor cleat up front, and you have stern cleat area on the console. This particular one is clipped with a Mercury, so it's got the digital gauges here. Uh, Yamaha would have the same. A uh, big beautiful flat area for mounting electronics. There's also an area on top here to mount a fish finder or GPS system. You have all circuit breakers on your switches instead of fuses. And they've added some nicer switches here so everything is easy to read on the particular switch for the piece of equipment you're activating. Pedal down here or a step, rest your feet on. Again, cup holders, port and starboard side of the console. There are some LED deck lights, as you can see here, to light up the deck at night, give you a little bit of uh, better visibility. Again, diamond plate, non-skid surface throughout the boat. All options are available, including a bait tank with seats on top. It's custom made by our fabricators. This particular is a factory uh, lean post. Again, additional cup holders, trolling rod holders, and this also has standard feature stainless steel tilt top. Uh, comes standard with four rod holders, deck light, it's nicely powder coated, it does have the uh, access for the life jackets, that's removable, and it's all set up for outriggers, and the plates can be mounted here. You can even have the through style outriggers with the handle that protrudes below the T top. And starboard sides of the boat have some recessed rod storage, uh, good for gaffs, boat hooks, that sort of thing. And you also have a freshwater wash down and a raw water wash down that comes on the boat. As you take a tour of the transom area, great feature on this boat is it does have an integrated oval bait tank. Got a cutting board on top. There is a light inside there. You can see it here on the left side of the screen. And it is a perfect oval shape, beautiful for anchovies and West Coast style uh, fishing. We've also got some additional port and starboard cup holders integrated into the back. And there's uh, jump seats that go in this area for additional passengers. And they're removable, so they're fishing. Notice the hardware latch. When that seat goes in there, it's really bolted down. It's not just letting gravity or sitting on top of that. There's the aft uh, jump seat installed. Gives you some great seating, and then that pops out. It also has 
combing pads. This boat's a little dirty, it just came in, but it has beautiful combing pads that stick out so you can get right up against the combing to uh, fight the fish. Have easy access through a transom door on the port and starboard side, and it comes standard with a uh, dual battery setup. Transom of the uh, 2105 Striper. Uh, it's got an integrated uh, ladder on the uh, port side that folds up, comes on the deck. On the starboard side, there is a platform you can use uh, if you want to mount an additional bait tank, any type of kicker motor accessory, but again, nice flat area. It's all non-skidded, so again, if you're a diver, you need to rest the boat. Plenty of room to do so. We stocked the 2105 Striper with a tandem axle galvanized trailer. You've got the uh, disc brakes and the uh, LED lights. So this is a heavy duty trailer. It's all set up for uh, Baja and we do offer uh, options, slight additional charge. This boat is actually equipped with a swing away tongue. Gives you added security and again, Heavy duty uh, bow stand is part of the pack. Stripers have stainless steel through holes. This is the drain for the forward starboard locker. They also have a rubber strip uh, bumper with the stainless steel rub strip inserted. Again, beautiful uh, stainless steel hardware. All the cleats are through bolted and back plated. You can lift the entire boat up by the cleat. Boathouse of Anaheim is your striper headquarters for Southern California. We stock new and used striper boats up to 29 feet. Please give us a call or check out our website for details. Boathouse of Anaheim.